fund for this Arab partnership is... The Arab partnership supporting the fundamental change in the Arab region is set to expand its work in its second year running by allocating 12 million pounds of support from the political fund and about 25 million pounds from the economic fund. Priority countries are Egypt, Tunisia, Libya, the countries that have had revolutions and dramatic change, but also Morocco, Jordan and Algeria as countries that are having slightly more gradual change. So Yemen and Palestine are two countries that the UK has had a long history of providing support to through our Department for International Development. But this is the more sort of routine work that tries to support development and, and mitigate the issues of misgovernance and, uh, and uh, issues arising from some of the conflict in Israel and Palestine. They don't naturally fit within our Arab Partnership uh, program, which is more about supporting reform. We are trying to make sure we respond to need from the country. We're not imposing our own ideas of what the countries need to go through. We are consulting with local actors and trying to find out what their need is. We are making sure that we are working where possible with other international partners so that we are delivering more benefit for our work. And where possible, we're trying to focus on programs that have a more sustainable uh, uh, life so that they can continue after we provide funding through local actors taking on the responsibility. This £110 million fund was allocated for this government until 2015, when the term of the government runs out. However, the Middle East and North Africa Directorate at the Foreign Offices hope the next government extends this funding beyond 2015 if the partnership strategy is able to show positive results from these programs in making a difference on the grounds.